So welcome to Shanghai, China, a massive city. Yeah, we are so we're in this little canal right here on the ship, and it, we're just surrounded by some beautiful buildings. It's so much more different than Beijing. We got look at this. This is so interesting, and we got the famous. Pearl Tower right there, ball there, ball there. It's a little light sensitive right there, but absolutely beautiful. Where the sun is shining, it's supposed to be in the 70s. There's a lot of glare from the sun that's right here behind me, shooting over on these buildings, so it's kind of hard to see that perfect shot. But we're gonna be back tonight to see the light show that they're supposed to have all this lit up and I do a little light show and stuff, it's supposed to be beautiful. And then I'll try to show you the buildings a little bit better. There's even a building right here next to the Pearl Tower that looks like a bottle cap opener. So we just got off the ship. We're in the city finally and we are on our way to Disney. So yes, there is a Disney here in Shanghai. It, brand new, I think it just opened in 2016. So very interesting place, beautiful buildings. The weather is a little chilly right now, but it is early. It's supposed to be in the 70s later. But yeah, we're super excited. We're gonna um, try to either find a taxi, which might be expensive, I'm not sure, because it's about 20 miles. Um, or do a bus that takes, not a bus, or do a train subway thing that takes about an hour or so to get there from here. So we're gonna see which one we take. Either way, we're gonna have a great day experiencing Disney in another country. And then at nighttime, sightseeing around the city so we can see all the lights and whatnot. All right, I'll catch you over there. So we just made it off the train. It took three trains to get here, it cost over the past hour about a dollar or something to get all the way over here which was fantastic but we made it Shanghai Disneyland thank goodness it's been beautiful weather so far a little windy but absolutely gorgeous we're gonna see how crowded it is in a minute but take a look at this I love that they always put a Mickey out there to welcome us here. We're gonna head to that big queue that's behind me. Try to buy some tickets and I'll see you on the inside. Microphone, so hopefully the audio is pretty good. There's the castle in the background. It's very beautiful. Um, now, this is this is a new park. I think 2016 it opened. They uh, this park has a different layout. It is basically opposite of what we're used to back home in the U.S. So where Tomorrowland's on one side and then Adventureland's on the other, switch it and put a couple different rides here, and then you got Shanghai Disney land. So, we're gonna walk around, take some pictures, ride some rides, um, and see how it goes. Okay, cool, they put Dumbo, the ride, actually right next to the castle, where normally we're used to it behind the castle. It's so another little thing that's different. This place is supposed to be a different setup, different feel than the other one. So we'll see. We're gonna keep wandering. Yeah, this Tomorrowland 
Oh, as he says, it's newer. Actually, feels more futuristic. A few different rides I'm not used to. You got that cool architecture building back there. I'm assuming that's where they'll have the Space Mountain, except here I don't think it's Space Mountain. I believe it's called Tron. So, sorry for the wind, but we're gonna see if we get onto the, yep, it is Tron. So we're gonna try to see if we can ride this Tron, or at least get a fast pass, so I'll see you in a few. So that was Tron. We're gonna go try ride it. It's a roller coaster indoors. Looks absolutely awesome in here. And apparently, the park's been open for about two and a half hours or so. And it's only a 15 minute wait, which is fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get on this. Buzz Lightyear is right next door. Five minute wait. So I'm hoping today is a great day full of short wait times. Oh, we just did Buzz Lightyear and it was a five minute wait if that. And I got a million something score. Their lasers here, obviously New York Park, but their lasers are so much better when they're shooting on that little laser gun. That I was able to keep up with it. I knew where my laser was at the time I was shooting. It was an awesome experience at Buzz Lightyear Astro Blast. So we're gonna see what else we can do so far, Tron. We basically just walk on in and sat down. That was fun. And then um, Buzz Lightyear, we just walked on in and had no problems. So, well, looks like we're gonna stop, get some popcorn, and then go to the next ride. So, I'm wondering if the lines are short everywhere else because apparently they have a Toy Story land here just like they do in the US. I wasn't sure if it was just the US or not opening up their Toy Story land with Slinky Dog and all that stuff. But, Slinky Dog is in the background back there. And since I've never been to the Toy Story areas and the ones in the US since they opened, because I went there before, last time I went was before, they opened it. This is kind of cool to say, my first Toy Story land was here in China, Shanghai. So it's really cool to see. No surprises I did not know about. So made it onto Slinky Dog. I'm in the back. Um, empty seat. It just goes in circles. I didn't realize that. I thought it was a roller coaster until I got up to it. But still gonna have fun. It's gonna start shortly and experience Slinky Dog. Same view. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Well, I did Slinky Dog. Waited a little less than 20 minutes. Was it worth it? Yeah, if you're gonna be 20 minutes or less, but if it's gonna be like an hour or so, I don't know if I'd wait an hour or so for that to go around in circles. It lasted about like 60 seconds, I think. But at least I can say I did it. Next stop, something different. Maybe that roller coaster looking thing. Now that ride reminds me of the truck ride at California Disney from the movie Cars. They used the tractor instead of the horses back in California. But basically same thing. Fun ride. Sword in the Stone. Reminds me of Thor. Only the who is worthy can pick it up or pull it out of the stone in this case. Let's see if we can do it. So we got, instead of the teapots like in Orlando, we got Winnie the Pooh's honey bowls, I guess. Well, there you go. They're doing twists. Usually back home we have the Pooh Bear ride where you go through the story. Uh, here's the teapot story.
So apparently we hit right by the castle. Let's see, you see the castle back there. We're in Alice in Wonderland's maze. There's a angry beast behind there. But apparently we walk around and try not to get lost. of Alice in Wonderland, that was fun, nice shots and whatnot. And just the thing that came to my mind is uh, that you all know is that when you try to buy a ticket here, they're gonna ask you for your passport. I have no clue why, because Tokyo didn't ask, but they wanted to see my passport before they let me buy the ticket. So just FY, price was about, because there's three sets of prices, normal price, which was around 60 bucks or something like that, 80 bucks or so was peak, and then they had peak holidays, we just had to pay peak. So, but yeah, make sure you have your passport if you want to come to Shanghai Disney and enter. And also another thing I noticed is that it's the first Disney I've ever been to that has, I see security walking around randomly and it's just kind of weird because usually I never see security. They're like, I figured they're watching but they're hiding. Here they're just randomly walking around, keeping an eye on things. It's just a different feel here in Shanghai, China's Disneyland. But let the fun continue. We're going to keep on riding some rides and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Now tell me that's not funny. They have these little canoes where you can paddle to get to where you're going. I don't know if it's on a track or not. I'm, I'm assuming it's on a track and you get just to play with the oars. Otherwise it's the first one I've seen where Disney puts you to work to do the ride. So I thought that was cool. I've never seen that before so I might have to do that. Canoes going to this beautiful little lake waterfall in the back mountain right there. I think it might be Splash Mountain I'm guessing. Weird thing, I have not found a, I have not found the ride Small World. I don't think Small World is at this park. Kind of weird. I'm going to keep looking, but I have not seen it on the map. I might be missing it or whatnot, but I don't believe it's here. No Small World, Shanghai. So they're doing the Halloween thing here. They're passing out the little candy every so often. She's nice enough to give me some, even though I'm not in costume and I'm not a kid. She's nice enough to still give it to me. So, happy Halloween. It'll be the time of this video that I'm making it. It is about to be Halloween in two days in America. So we did the rope course just now, just finished. And there's, once you get up there, they put the harness and stuff on you. You had to put all your stuff in a locker. But, so I couldn't take my camera with me or my cell phone, they made me put it all in the locker. But once you get in there, you have two courses, you go around the waterfall, or you go through the waterfall. We took, we went that way, up the hill, went behind, there's a small little ledge you had to kind of scoot yourself through, and get right there where the waterfall is. So yes, I got wet, but it was so much fun going behind the waterfall on this little ledge. You get to the other side, it was, that's a must do right there. That's a must do. I love the world's a stage, welcome to the show. I glance at you, you smile at me like we're all alone. We dance around it, but we'll never let each other know. It's an illusion, let the games begin. Step into the ring. I juggle all my feelings for you Don't miss all the action Cause the main attraction Is knowing that you feel 
feel the same way too Caribbean ride which was phenomenal. It is totally different than the one back home. It's all based basically off the it's all based basically off the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. So that ride was phenomenal. The special effects were great. The boat ride was great. It was fun. Then we went to a Pirates show right next to it which was awesome. I really didn't understand a thing they said. People laughed. I just laughed with them. But it was a very interesting show, even though I couldn't understand them. There was um, fighting, and there was... Um, they also had one of those skydiving um, tubes where you jump in and you float, you know, you could do that skydive practicing. One of those tunnels that you jump in and you could pretend like you're skydiving for practice. They had one of those where they were fighting all of a sudden Jack Sparrow falls over, lands on this thing and then he's fighting up in the air, doing acrobatics in the air on this skydiving platform where the air shoots you straight up in the air. That was amazing. So I had a great time there with the Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean show, both of them. Um, we're pretty much done for the day. We're gonna get something to eat real quick. We're gonna head back to the uh, train and we're gonna head back to the cruise ship so we can see the night show that they do in the city where you see all the lights and the... It's supposed to be beautiful. They turn off the lights at 10 p.m. so we wanna make sure we get there before that. Yeah, it's been a fun time here in Shanghai Disney. Um, multiple different rides um, that I haven't seen anywhere else in any of the other Disney's, so that was fun. The only thing that was kind of weird here at Disney was their toilets. I'm going to post a picture right about now of what it was like to use the toilets here in China and here at Disney. They are unique. They are used for squatting. There's never any toilet paper in any of the places I've been to so far here in China. Thankfully here in Disney, they do supply the toilet paper, but you still have to squat in those, whatever you want to call them in the ground. So anyway, besides that, that's the only weird thing here at Disney. Otherwise, we are out of here. So, 
as I leave Disneyland in Shanghai, let's give you a little taste of nightlife in Disneyland. Easy as pie, lemon, apple, or cherry. Love and do is so very sweet, sweet, sweet. How can it be such a piece of cake? And your smile is the icing. Love and you is a party. It's sweet, sweet, sweet. How can it be? And you make my candy coated heart melt. When you take my hand and I am under your spell, baby, I crave your affection. When I stepped in sweet confection, I need your my sugar. I'm pleased as punch. Whether spiked or sparkly, you make me tipsy and bubbly. If you're a dessert, I want the last cups first. Oh, how I love! 